Let me let me let me let me ask you about some of these NXT call ups, brother. All right, yeah. Ask me I about mean, them and then just, and ask me about them and then I'll give you my thoughts on them. Okay. Um, if you were to grade, uh, matter of fact, I'll ask you a name and you just grade it, even with the sample size that we have. You mm-hmm. just give me a grade and brief explanation. Okay. All so right. I'm gonna start with let's start with recent, you know, um, because we'll get into her since we talk King of the Ring. Lyra Valkyria. Mm-hmm. Your grade will be based off presentation, booking, and obviously crowd reaction and things like that. I'd give it a solid C plus. Okay. Because the crowd is picking up on like the whole chanting during her entrance, though. Woo! Mm-hmm. Every time the beat hits that part. And the match that she had with EO was actually pretty good. Like, I know a lot of people was <laughs> thought I was bashing Lyra because EO lost, but they don't realize that, hey, your boy is a fan of EO. Whenever she loses, I always react like that. My wrestling takes on Twitter is satire and joking. Don't take me serious. I promise. Love it. All right, all right. Like, so I literally, like, I saw a lot, a lot of people that was like, you don't know ball. I'm like, bro, I'm a fan of both. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> don't okay. don't do that. That was just me. Me when I react on Twitter is literally me watching the show. How I react on this show mm-hmm. is how I feel after digesting what I saw. And I feel like yeah, it's a still a solid C plus. Like right now, they just doing something with her in the King of the Ring. I mean, Queen of the Ring. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like I need to for it to be a definite grade. I need to see what they do by August. Okay. Because it's like WrestleMania to August to, to SummerSlam. Like I need to see what they're doing by SummerSlam. And then I'll give you a definite. But right now it's a C plus. C plus. All right. So I'm gonna move on to another woman uh who's got on there a little bit before Lyra. So obviously it's had some time to, to grow. Uh and it's rising pretty quickly in most people's eyes. Tiffany Stratton, what are you grading her right now? She's a B. A B. A okay. solid B. The reason why I say that is because she is talented in that ring to the point where she still she picks up like she she she's picking up the little, little things that I have been very vocal of what I like in my wrestling as far as like continuity like it doesn't look as performative you can tell she's getting more comfortable in the ring I'm still not sold on the theme music she says she likes it in interviews good for you me I don't care for it um I don't even really care about the original one either. So it's like, it's a double. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> as far as like her losing in the Queen of the Ring tournament, it's not the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, she had a great showing at Elimination Chamber early this year. Had a great showing in Paris at Backlash. She will be fine. Um, I feel like she will be a prominent fixture in the women's division going forward. So... Mm-hmm. We'll see, like, what they do. Same with by August, but right now it's a solid B. Okay, um, switch up to a man to a man talent for a second. Um, recently, like I said, as it's a sample size, but Ilya Dragunov. What would you grade it so far since he's been called up? Oh, that's my dog. That's a definitely a, still a solid B. Like okay. a solid, like a solid B. I'm one like these fools out here losing their mind because Ilya lost to Jey Uso, like. This man will be fine. Trust me. This man out here tweaking just because out of inconvenience. Like, this dude will, like, let them do what they do. Once this King of the Ring done, stuff is done, I feel like he's going to... They literally teased him and Gunther. Yeah. And the way they've been protecting Gunther, they ain't going to put him just with anybody. So it's like, I feel like... I'm practicing patience when it comes to Gun- I mean, to Ilya Dragunov and what they're going to do with the Mad Dragon. I'm a fan. I'm like people go like wrestlers lose all the time. It's it, like, what do I say? You, you've been here when I say it all the time. It's all about the follow up. What are they doing in the follow up? Are they going to just throw him by the wayside or are they going to let him cook? That's true. So That's true. it's all about the follow up. Like we'll see what they do in the meantime. But right now I still he, he's a B2. Like him, him and Tiffany are a B, so yeah, he, that's another B for me. Um, I'm just ready for him to forearm some fools and H bombs. 
some food. <laughs> All right. So in a sample size, I'm going to go back to the women for a second. Kiana James from the sample size that we've seen of her and what they look like they're doing. D, she's not doing anything. Interesting to me, uh, mm-hmm. at least. Yeah. She's uh, doing the stuff with she's she's playing up the fact that she's a businesswoman with Adam Pierce or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like this, like it's, it's a solid way to introduce her. But right now, they have really been. It's been what two weeks that I've seen her. About two. Three and they've weeks. been they've been like cameos, so it's not like anything moving. I it's agree. not moving me. So it's a, it's a D right now. All right. So the man they call Braun Breaker. This presentation that is uh, in many ways Goldberg and Ryback like, if you will. With these squash matches, this man is br- Braun breaking these hoes. <laughs> but I actually, at first, it was a solid C. Mm-hmm. But I'm enjoy. I enjoyed that squash match that he did with old dude. Uh, they had me out here caring about this dude. Like, bro, let's do, just 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 stay play dead. Like, stop getting up. Yeah. And it's look like they're probably they're about to start him giving him a few. I believe it's going to be with Ricochet. Cause he speared him into oblivion backstage. He did. Um, he bought the spear that man into a new hairline. <laughs> um, but it went from a C because I'm not really a fan of squash matches. You know this. Everybody who listens to me knows this. I'm not a fan of squash matches anymore. I used to be when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I'm like, I really don't give a fuck. Um, but as far as right now, his grade his grade would be a, 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 a B plus because he's entertaining. That's the thing. He's evolved way past when we first saw him in 2.0. Mm-hmm. So it's like he's entertaining and it's like he basically murdered a man on TV. <laughs> so right. it's like if they let him do, if they go less on the squash matches and actually build him up as far as like give him death, more death outside of just him being Goldberg 2.0, Robat 2.0, Braun Strowman 2.0, mm-hmm. then I feel like they got something here. So... I hey, I still feel like he should have, um, like he needs to build himself up and then go after that intercontinental title. Okay, for sure. That would be crazy. That would so be yeah, crazy. he's a B plus. All right, then. So then, my final one to ask about is the obvious elephant in the room here, and that would be the man they call H I M. Carmelo Car- Hayes. If it was anybody but Carmelo, I would not like this. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it is. It's just like I don't. How do you explain it? It's like he's he's talented, but they're not doing anything that's moving me to give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. You probably feel the same way. I don't know. It's it's like I like the cocky nature because it's it's definitely him. It, it was him in NXT to a degree, but he was also backing it up. And the thing about it is, right now it's presented like he's cocky and he's talking all the junk. But then it's like, bro, you kind of for somebody that don't miss shots, you kind of one for three, you right? Jump, you jumped into an RKO, brother. Like I said, I'm like, bro, you you saying you don't miss, but you one for three. You 33 percent behind the field right now, my guy. <laughs> That ain't a good night for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you finish straight up Kobe in the fourth quarter and keep jacking up shots to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of those things where I'm like, bro, you know what I'm saying? And then Bobby looking more and more wise because he literally tried to tell you, like, hey, man, come to me for guidance. He's like, ah, no, 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 no. I got this. I'm good. You know, I can't Do you think that's the point? Like he's losing this, and then he's gonna come to Bobby. Like you know what, my fault, OG. Maybe you know it's it's really hard to call. Uh, I would hope that if he is up in the stable, it's kind of a rock situation, you know, um, mm-hmm. like rocking the nation. Where if he does join the stable, he ends up outshining the stable so much that he then takes over the stable to where then it then eventually catapults him to where he's like the rock. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Sorry, my computer. You good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Still I still heard you. I still heard you. You good. Okay, so, yeah, man. I mean, it's kind of hard to call. Some people are talking about his size difference right now from some of these talents and how he's looking undersized. Some of them are 
you know, talking about uh, just just different feedback I'm hearing on on people outside of our own. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the ones I care to listen to anyway. Uh, yeah, because I don't listen to everybody. Yeah, we, we don't listen to everybody anymore these days. But it's like to the ones that I do kind of tune into, it's interesting hearing some of the opinions on him right now and how he's being booked. Like phenomenal talent doing his thing, but it's like the L's are kind of piling up just a little bit. And then, and then the win that he did get against Baron Corbin, you're like, that was kind of baby faces, you know, like that. Well, no, they was kind of, they was kind of booing, but they was kind of cheering Corbin a little bit. Well, they were, but you know, they say baby faces normally win in the schoolboy kind of way sometimes. Sometimes, uh, you know, he'll do it too, but they usually do it with the tights. But I don't think he pulled the tights when he did. He just rolled them. Nah, up. he barely. He he almost missed that spot. Like he they had to, he had to run into it. Yeah, because like, he slipped out of it and he almost tripped. Yeah, man, it's just uh, really trying to see what they're gonna do. And oh, and the main thing here, and the reason why I asked that is because homie off. You think because he got the in ring skills and he's got mic skills, but if you let L.A. Knight cook you the way he cooked you. <laughs> Cause he straight up sunned him. I'm not gonna hold you. Go that play somewhere else. Sun him, dog. He said, "Go I, play somewhere else." <laughs> like I played that segment so many times, bro. <laughs> I said, "What y'all got to say about LA Knight?" Cause clear as day, he hearing y'all criticism out there, and I'm just telling you, y'all forget. LA Knight literally says, "I can't stop. I won't stop." This man continues to go. And he he's trust me, I know he's hearing the critics and he's not bothered by it. He's just like, watch this then. No, I, I bet. You know, and he just straight up cooked the dude. I'm like, God damn, Melo. Like you tried. You did, you tried, but man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they even talked to trash after the fact when he lost. Talking about some, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you showed me, pal. You showed me. And it's like, nah, hey. nah, remember when he said I didn't I I I, I didn't win. But I didn't lose. I'm like, nigga, you still lost. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's a double L for you, my guy. You got cooked on the mic and you got cooked in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, Melo. It's just like, bro, I need, I need, I need some, some flavor from you. Some more like, We gotta see what's going on, man. Cause uh, I forget that when the Melo we knew in NXT did kind of take off with Trick. The sidekick, mm-hmm. trick, of course, the sidekick version of Trick. But remember, we didn't exactly see Trick shine by himself. Or I'm sorry, Trick. We didn't see Mellow shine by himself. You know what I'm saying? To the Mellow we grew to love from NXT. You know what I mean? And so that's just kind of my thought. Like I'm just hoping that he don't sink. I hope he can keep floating. And and I like the the debut. The Cody situation was like, okay, that makes sense. But everything else afterwards has been kind of like, uh, you know, because like, it's King eh, of the Ring. okay. You like, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, because this King of the Ring thing's been interesting with some of these NXT talents that have been in it and the ones that haven't. Because it's like Bronze thing is, I should have been in the tournament. Well, you got to earn your way. Well, Dragon off. Like, I bet. Here you go. Yeah, but it's like Dragon off didn't earn his way. He was in there. Melo didn't earn his way. He was in there. He lost to Cody on his first night. <laughs> I'll put him in there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, that is a that is a little logic gap because it's like Braun's been squashing people before the draft, so it's like, mm-hmm. why does he have to earn his way? Yeah, that's why I said. Then it's again, like, it's like it, it just say you didn't want him to, you didn't want him to take a loss, so facts, you kept him out. Facts, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of my little gripe at the moment. That's what I'm feeling, but we'll see as the weeks go along. You know, it's sample sizes. Sample sizes, you know, we'll see what happens in the next few months. Uh, looks like LA Knight's the, the route for Melo. I like that. It's a cool when the club go around here. I'm a cat. This bang bang gang. I don't owe you bang, bang. When I'm in the ring, it's just me and my best friends. OC cutting no slack. Hollywood right. Miz, you can put me on the A-list. Crush unleash, better put it on your playlist. Me and my fam be ballin' like the Bruce. Fight night, baby. Hard hitting like Seamus. Family first, yes, bloodline business. Winning all the gold. Look at how they witness. 